everyone. This is Kresselman, and I'd like to welcome you to a conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. As you have just seen that I've been doing some alms, you've heard it, you've seen me doing it, and I want to describe to you a little bit of what you, what you were not able to see. This is a double alm practice. You're alming out loud to the outside world, but when you breathe in, you're also alming right back into yourself. So as you see me going, Aum, stopping, and then as I breathe in, I'm owing, alming silently to myself. Now when you're, when you're alming back in, into the interior part of yourself intentionally, it's not as governed or restricted by the amount of air that you have in your lungs. So you can indeed take a few breaths as you're alming back into yourself. And what this is, is this is, a, this is an alming respiration. Okay, this is what it's called, alming respiration. And remember, we're not doing om, we're not doing that. We're doing A-U-M, aum, A-U-M. And then as soon as you finish the A-U-M, Take whatever breath you feel necessary to take, and then inwardly, in your thoughts, in your mind, also say the word, oh, back to yourself, in your head, so that you're breathing, you're, you're, you, you breathe the alm in, and you exhale the alm out. This is a very helpful uh, practice, meditational practice, it becomes very, very, very uh, serene, and yet it has a, a, a patina of, of, uh, of grace that makes it slightly intense as well. I would recommend this for anyone who is having uh, issues of the Kundalini, say about uh, Kundalini syndrome or, or paranoia or states of anxiety that are happening during the transformation of the adrenals and the kidneys. Come out here into a forest if you can, if you find one, or a place even in your house. You can do this in your house. Just come in and give yourself a good grounding. Allow that tailbone to go straight into the earth. And remember, your house is connected to the earth. Your apartment is connected to the earth. It's just as easy for you to ground in your apartment or your house that's connected to the earth. Okay? Don't worry that you're not into a forest. You know, a lot of people live in the city and you can't really afford to go out into a, a nature preserve or things like that. I recommend that you do. I recommend that you find a way to take a bus or walk or cycle or in some way, uh, find your way into a, a, a nature preserve. But if you can't, you know, it's not a problem. You can do it right there in your house as long as you can get some privacy. Do this practice in, out, in, out. And have a beautiful, joyful, wonderful Kundalini experience. Thanks for watching.